there we are lit up sunshine what's up guys thanks very much for tuning in scott lennox here kristen lennox fishing oc hooked on oc deadly tackle the whole nine yards man so the boats broke down if you guys been paying attention for any little while you know the boats boats busted we got the steering cable uh, about ready to get repaired from pt's marine um but that's no good with us we don't yeah. we don't not fish it's called fish in oc for a reason so <laughs> we're going to try and do a little bit today um we just got those new small hook rigs in so what we're going to do is we're going to go to a place that we really really like when there is no fishing going on that's the ocean city boardwalk we're right here down in the ocean city inlet parking lot right now we're going to try those smaller rigs over here see if we can catch something plenty of sea bass and maybe some croakers and kingfish and spot around that sort of thing um, I got I got a couple thingamajigs with me. I brought some deadly doubles and that sort of thing. So if the tide gets right, maybe we'll try that for a little bit. But it's all about trying to see what we can catch, if anything, down here at the Ocean City Inlet on the North Jetty Wall without a boat. Um, it's tough for me to say we don't have our boat with us right now, but it'll be repaired soon enough. We'll be back there on the bay, hopefully fishing at Ocean Pines Flounder Tournament. We've got a lot of tournaments we're doing live broadcasts for here coming up. So stay tuned for those, like our social media, to be notified about all that stuff. And we're probably going to get some kind of food. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, we're definitely going to get some kind of food because uh, it's right there. It's literally right over there. So, anything you want to say to your Doreen fans? Oh, not that I can think of today. <laughs> All right, well, let's get it. We are doing something different today, being that our boat is in the shop. And that's we're down at the inlet, and Scott's getting ready to drop a line over and see what happens. You can see where my spot's going to be right here watching. Here's Scott. Yeah, I was getting a little nibble on that, but you got to make sure as you're reeling these up, you do it quick because unlike fishing from a boat, when you're fishing from the boat, you've got the rocks in front of you and they're coming down towards you. When you're fishing from shore, you got the rocks in front of you and they're going down away from you. So every time you bring it up, you got the potential of getting snagged in the rocks. So I'm going to chuck it out there a little bit further, try and get down to the base of the rocks, down to the sand, the muddy part of the rocks, not in the rocks. And then if I get a fish hook, I got to try and navigate it up through the rocks. A little bit more difficult than fishing from in front of the rocks uh, when you're fishing from a boat. Oh yeah, baby. The OC rocket comes in the inlet and the sea bass comes up to the jetty wall. There's a million of these things out here, man. Caught a bunch of these last week, but that's it, man. That's the same black sea bass you guys see on the party boats. Those guys fishing out in the ocean on ocean structure. That's the same one, about a third of the size. Um, but these small fish, they live in here during the summertime, and then as the fall comes around, they head offshore a little bit deeper water to grow up. The good thing about fishing down here at the inlet is that when we get hungry or if the fish aren't biting or the tide's moving too fast, we can just spin right around and go get us some food. What's up? All right, so one four inch sea bass and two lost rigs. That tells me tide's running way too fast. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna tie a couple of new rigs on so we're ready to go when this tide slows down. But the great thing about the boardwalk is um, there's plenty to eat and plenty to do. So we're gonna do that for a little bit and then that'll give this tide a chance to come in here and fill up. And then once it slows down, we're gonna come back here, maybe have a little bit better luck. Um, fish are biting, you know, I'm getting plenty of bites, but it's not worth it because even with a three ounce sinker on the tide is just pushing it too far down the rocks and getting me snagged. Whereas when it slows down, I'll have a way better chance of keeping it in the position that I want to keep it in and being able to get it up here. So let's go get something to eat and then uh, then we'll come back in a little bit. All right, this tide's still moving way too fast. Um, but you can still catch stuff here. These guys are going to be throwing, you know, uh, Roy rigs, thingamajigs, other shad type things. Maybe catch a striper or a bluefish or something. But we're trying to catch smaller stuff like kingfish, spot, croakers, sea bass. Um, Maybe a flounder or something like that. Just trying these new rigs out with these small hooks. Um, but tide's way too fast. So we're going to go up here on a boardwalk. Nice little tourist stroll. Right. <laughs> we'll show you guys the end of the boardwalk here where they got some pretty cool fish displays. Um, and then probably going to go grab some thrashers, french fries. Maybe a funnel cake. I don't know if you're going to eat a funnel cake right now. But mm. funnel cake, maybe a funnel cake. Tempting. But it's beautiful.
pretty cool. We've got some really, really cool fish displays up here on the uh, south end of the Ocean City Boardwalk. We've got the big tiger shark that Grace Cernak caught back in, I think, the 80s. A uh, really huge mako shark that was caught back in the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s. And then, of course, this Maryland state record white marlin, 135 pounds. I don't know if they make them that big anymore, but 135 pounds caught back in 1980 on the five seas. And that right, is right down here on the southern end of the Ocean City Boardwalk, too. So if you're a fisherman, it ain't just about the Thrasher's French fries and the Fisher's popcorn and stuff. You got some fishing stuff up here, too. It's pretty cool. But don't get him wrong. That's an important part, too. <laughs> I, I, I just said it wasn't everything. <laughs> this line it's a good thing we're coming up here midweek kind of in the afternoon not crazy it's still summertime don't get me wrong but this line at thrashers i can handle that couldn't wait till we got out of the cash register <laughs> I've been a ketchup guy since I was like five years old. Not Thrasher's, baby. Thrasher's vinegar and salt. Vinegar and salt. We are on take two, back at it. He's tying it up right now. You never know who you're going to run into on the boardwalk. I just saw someone I haven't seen in 30 years. Never know what you'll see on the Ocean City boardwalk. But back to fishing, man. The tide slowed down quite a bit. Um, we're trying these little rigs. I'm going to try the uh, high-low floats rig, it's called. And I'm just using little pieces of fish bites to see what we can catch on it. Sea bass, croaker, kingfish, spot, whatever. Anything that bites. We just want to see if these little hooks are going to work for those kind of fish. Um, and I had to wait for the tide to slow down, otherwise I'm just going to be in the rocks all day long. So, we'll see what happens. Tide's slowing down and I'm accomplishing my mission. Um, if I was flounder fishing or something like that, these fish would suck. Uh, but I'm not. I'm actually I'm using these on purpose to try and catch stuff like this to see if these rigs are going to work for fish with smaller mouths. And so far, so good. I found a little ledge here with the drop off. I'm not getting snagged too bad. I'll show you what I do because I know I'm going to come up here and I'm going to be using a bunch of fish bites, right? I'm using the fish bites blood worm and I'm cutting it into these little teeny pieces. So at home, before I even came up here, I just cut 50 of these things. So every time I lose a bait, I don't have to go back into my fish bites, cut a little piece, go back into my fish bites, cut a little piece. That way I've just got a little teeny bag here ready to go. And I just put it on, wait for a bite. So we got three different types of rigs with the new perch rigs. We've got one that's got nothing on it. It's just got number four hooks. That's gonna be for catching white perch, yellow perch, things like that. Um, you catch spot, croaker, that sort of thing over here. We've got one that's got beads on it. The one with beads is just a little bit more attracting. Um, to the fish, right? A little bit more attractive with the bait on there. You're still gonna wanna bait a hook out, obviously. And then we've got one for floats for places like this where it's gonna keep it up off the bottom. The float's actually gonna keep the hook and everything up off the bottom, especially over there in the surf we can get crabs around. The one with floats is gonna keep it up off the bottom and keep it in the water column where the fish can get to it and not the crabs. So I'm using the one with the floats because there's obviously some crabs around these rocks and I don't want them picking on it. See if you can see how quick this is now this tide got right. Yep, it's cool background too, man. You got some boats going out for their evening cruise. You got boats like Fishbound going out for his afternoon fishing trip where he's catching Spanish mackerel inshore and that sort of thing. You got boats coming back from offshore during the during the tuna fishing and tile fishing and stuff, so it's a really cool view up here too and it's very very relaxing. Kristen's just kind of chilling in a beach chair while I'm up here uh, fishing and losing a bunch of rigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's a Judith M.
And if you guys are gonna come up here and fish for tall tog and sheep's head and drum and that sort of thing, you're gonna wanna be right in the rocks, right? You know you're gonna lose gear up here. You can use our deadly tackle tog jigs for that. You can also use our uh, top and bottom rig, the double header, and you're gonna wanna use crabs or sand fleas, but there've been some pretty nice tog and sheep's head caught right along this jetty, um, up to 10 pounds or so on the sheep's head side of things. So you never know what you're gonna catch up here, man. Everything that we catch in our bay is either in or comes through Ocean City Inlet. There's another one. One quick note about parking up here at the inlet. It is $3.50 an hour. You can either download the app and do it that way, or they have the little kiosk that you pay for when you're here in the parking lot. Don't forget to pay. They will send you a big ticket in the mail. What'd you catch on that boat last week? Oh, that was pretty awesome. Captain Chris Watkowski on the spring mix too. Uh, last week we were on there and we were for Bobby Connor's 60th birthday and we caught a 192.8 uh, pound big eye tuna. <laughs> and that was with a chunk taken out of its tail because a shark got to it. But um, here's a picture. 192.8 pound big eye tuna on spring mix two last week. It was awesome. How many did you have hooked up at one time? And one, what happened? Two, three. One pulled off, one got completely eaten by a shark, and then we caught the one. All right. You know it, baby. I see it. You know what you know what happens when you switch to the deadly double? <laughs> Star trees, you know what happens when you switch to the deadly double, man. You get the flounder action going on. Um, he engulfed that gulp, so let me uh, let me get the pliers and take that thing off. He's hungry. All right, so sea bass is cool and all, but um, I'm looking for something a little bit bigger. And that that wasn't much bigger, but it was a little bit more fun. Um, so I switched to our chartreuse deadly double, man. The tide's nice and slow right now. It's getting ready to turn around and start heading out. You can barely see a little movement. Look at all this bait. Look at all that bait. I'm not sure if you guys can make this out. I'm going to try and zoom the, uh, zoom the footage in here. But there is a huge school of probably bunker right out here. You can see them busting the surface right now. I'm going to try and cast underneath them because something's probably chasing them to the surface. Uh, maybe, be, maybe rockfish, bluefish, something like that. But something's definitely chasing that bait to the surface. But back to what I was saying, we, I switched over here to the chartreuse deadly double. And on my second cast, called Little Flounder Man, on that white gulp um, with a little teeny weeny piece of fish bites on the bottom of it. But basically the object is throw it out there as far as you can, get it away from the rocks, and then just slowly bump it towards you. Reel in three or four feet, let it sit. Reel it in three or four feet, let it sit. A couple feet, let it sit. Until you get down to where you think the base of the rocks are, and then get that thing up, because you're gonna lose this in the rocks just like I lost all those little perch tricks. Probably again. Oh God. <laughs> what is up with you and Ray? Yeah, look, it's a Ray. I fished with you for almost 20 years and I've never seen you catch so many rays as this year. I've, I've caught maybe five of these in my whole life and three of them have been in the last month. Nice. Unbelievable. <laughs> Man, I don't know what it is about me and Calendar's rays this year, but I've got another one on it. It's because we're filming you. I'm not going to tangle up everybody's stuff because I could literally, this thing, he doesn't even realize he's hooked, I don't think. Now he does. Yeah. Gosh darn. Best thing to do is just point the rod tip at him, hold your spool. And if he breaks off, he breaks off. If not, he'll come toward you. But while the angler's going by in the background, and I got this calendar's, oh, lost this calendar's stingray. Make sure you check out our most current episode of Hooked on OC. Ryan, my son Ryan, Owen West, we were all, Dan Hackett, we were all on the angler. And the episode's called Rod Overboard. <laughs> you gotta go find out why. She's laughing. You gotta go find out why. The episode's called Rod Overboard, but it's a really good one. You can check it out here on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash unseen pro. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, and he forgot to mention. Now there's in the angler. He forgot to mention on the angler was my fishing rod, and I wasn't on the boat. All right, I'm snagged again. When you fish from shore around rocks, you're going to get snagged a lot. Like I said earlier on, the rocks now are sloping away from me. So I got to get all the way to the other side of them to get down on the bottom on the sand where the flounder are. But I was lucky enough to do that for one of them. But here's a, here's a way that you don't break your rod or your mess your reel up when you're trying to get unsnagged. This feels like it's stuck pretty good, right? I'm not going to get this out. It's probably going to break. I'm not going to sit here and force on it like this because I might break my rod, right? So here's what you do. Point your rod directly at the snag, reel to it as tight as you can get to it, and then just hold on to your spool. And you hold on to your spool, don't allow the line to come off, and then just pull it towards you. And eventually, uh, it's gonna break. There we go. But as you can see, real gentle break. Got plenty of line back, and I didn't do any damage to my rod. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. The sun is setting, stomachs are growling. It's time for us to hit the road. Caught a couple of fish, tested out those new rigs. They worked perfectly. Switched to the deadly double and uh, caught a flounder on that. Pretty awesome. And now we are going to hit the road. So uh, if you feel like I'm coming up here and having a good time, you can always just park in the Ocean City Inlet, and walk up to the boardwalk, have a good time if the tide's not quite right. And then you can come down here and catch all kinds of stuff at different times of the year right here on the North Jetty. And you don't even have to have a boat. Guys, you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like our social media, iFishingOC on Instagram, FishingOC on Facebook, FishingOC.com for the nightly fishing report and all that good stuff. Want to buy any of this tackle we're using, deadly-tackle.com. See you next vid. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble.